We'll start your Saturday morning out with part of a sunrise anyway. Yeah, mom's roof's a little bit on the white side. Pasture out there's a little on the white side. That's just due this morning. It didn't rain last night. That's the first night in I don't know how long. And, you know, I was just watching uh, Prairie Sunset Ranch's video this morning, and he's drier and dry up there already. Thinking back, 2018 wasn't too bad. Uh, 2019 was dry here. It was wet spring, but it was like this spring's been. It's rained just enough to keep you not wanting to be in the field. 2020 was the same way. 2021, guess what? Same way. I mean, the first two years in the last 60 years that we haven't had crops in in the fall or early spring. This year and last year. Usually, you know, usually done planting no later than mid-April. Usually done planting before March. A lot of times you get in January or February. By the middle of March, you can plant spring grain and have it make it for sure. Well, guess what? And last year, our spring grain didn't make it. That's the worst I've ever seen it here. And we were actually kind of on the early side getting the spring grain planted for what we were a couple years before that. But I just wanted to say, you know, it's not dry here, but it's not wet here now either. And the creek level is not what it should be. It's probably a foot lower than it should be. And... I don't know. It's going to be another interesting year. It's one of those where I got to think really hard because what we did scratch last year, last fall with the disc, has growth on it. Is it the stuff we want? No. Mixture of grass and oats. And it'll make hay, but volunteer stuff like that doesn't make a lot of hay. Always come up short. So, just another one of those years to think hard on stuff and figure out what to do. Tip you a little, you can see where the airplanes have been. There's actually one, and he's hiding behind those two fir trees. You can see there's two contrails to the left of it, and only one to the right. Hmm. Anywho. There's your morning shot. Oh, and Rainy got up and came out with me this morning, so I had to stick around up there for a little bit. Let her go potty and let her back in. Oh, she's getting around pretty good. They took quite a bit out of her left flank, and that's what he's worried about, her going up and down the stairs and moving around. That's where he, she'll tear that apart. So we got to watch that. Unfortunately, she can reach and scratch up next to her left shoulder. With no hair there, her nails have made a little scratch next to her incision. Hopefully she don't catch the incision. Might have to take a little pair of socks and slip on her and keep her from having a sharp edge. Okay, that's enough BSing. I gotta get back to work. Okay, it's that time. I gotta get mama up. Tell her that her and her babies get to go out in general population. See how they like it. I know they'll like it. They'll like it one way or the other. Now the bad thing is that geek's probably gonna go swinging all the way down and I don't want it to. Well, maybe it won't. Ah, but it will. That's why there's a piece of twine to hook on there. Can't go any further. Eh, Minnie Moo. She likes this corner. I don't know why. Hi, Mom. You want to come out? 
She got up. Babies don't know what to do. They're going to get to go outside and find mud and the sunshine. I was hoping to sneak around the babies and get them to go out that way. Instead, I'm going to run up to the other end of the pen and back probably two or three times. Who knows? Hi, little girl. Are you guys going to look at Mama's headed out? Minnie Moo, you get out of the way. You pain in the butt. Get out of here. She's like her mother was. She's got to stick her nose into everything. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mom. Come on, Mama. Minnie's out of the way. Staring over here waiting to come get in a fight. Really, Mom? Come on. Out you go. Yeah. Keep going, Mom. The little boy's too worried about the dog over here. He wants me to walk through the monkeyest part just so I can get him to go out. Okay, little girl's going. Come on, Mom. Yeah, I know. No more of this plush life. Got to go out and fight with everybody else. Come on. Keep going. Keep going. You too, baby. Boop. Come on, Mom. Out. And Minnie's over here posturing. Because she thinks she's queen of the shit pile. Sometimes you just got to get them out of the way. I know there's going to be some fights. Go on. I know there's going to be some fighting because she's been in this pen for so long. And of course, you know, hey, you got to stop and take a leak on the way out, right? Can't take four freaking steps so I can shut the gate. That'd be too easy. Out you go, Mom. Come on. So, there we go. The twins are finding out what the gate's like up her backside. Are officially out in general population. Little boy taking a pee there. Little girl standing next to Mom. They can get reacquainted with their friends who have passed through the maternity pen. And uh, we're outside in the sun. I told you it was coming. Ladies, sometimes it works to yell at them, sometimes it doesn't. Take it outside. Sometimes they listen when you tell them to take it outside, too. She's been in here so long, that's going to go on for probably the next hour or two. Off and on. Tis what it is. They got to get along. Just got to reassert their pecking order. Wrong, but number two is surprise. She bought herself a car. Dump truck driver that uh, Maury deals with. After his divorce, he ended up with it. Little Tucson. Cute little car. Actually, I was room in the back seat to sit. Unlike that thing. So, anyway, she's going to let Becky take it for a drive. Maury picked her up this morning and they went down and met the guy and traded money and title and here it is. And with COVID in Oregon right now, yeah, you make an appointment for DMV. Guess what? Unless we go to the far end of the state... We still got to go about 60 miles to go to DMV to do anything for it. But it's over a month out before you can get in. So, yeah, she's got something that doesn't have the issues like the Tahoe, so that'll give time to work on the Tahoe, not having to drive it every day. Oh, yeah, this is our day now. Hazy up there. Hasn't rained since night before last, so that's amazing. Bright light in the sky and God knows what they're going to do. Becky's got to figure out what she's going to do for a new car. So just spend the money like we got it, right?
Oh, there it is. Now the fun begins. That's not all the wires yet. I got everything I need for them right here. Um, yeah, still got foam mark, micro track wires to get shoved up in here. Fuel pump's got to get a wire for it yet. But that should be everything except for that. So start cutting and having fun because that's kind of back in there a ways. I gotta, you know, one way or another, I'm gonna reach it. Don't look too bad here. Sits up there nice. Had to find a piece so I could put a clamp on it. And this other one, I think I'm gonna run over the top of here. I get where you can see. Instead of here, I'm gonna run it here because it goes back to the post and down. Ground for my cab. Don't need that wire hanging on it. And uh, I'll put the clamp on with that. To hold this. So, I s told supper's ready, so I'm gonna go get me a bite to eat right after I go finish feeding. So, hope y'all have a good Saturday night and y'all have a great Sunday.